Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thurs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from Always Shipper in the Cannon Gun. This really is a uh, good suit. It is, of course, a Jagan uh, cosplaying a gun cannon, essentially. Uh, it apparently comes from a manga where they put together like a whole team of uh, mobile suits uh, patterned after the uh, Project V uh, trio. So... Yeah, Cannon Gun is basically I th uh, the support that I think everybody's been waiting for since, you know, basically the dawn of time. Uh, it is a support with uh, resist move and damage reduction during it at that, with balancer, with two hit melee, and a really good melee attack at that, and also just tremendous firepower on top of which. So, yeah, it is... You know, it still has vulnerability to uh, uh, vulnerability to, uh, raids, but it's fairly easy to get its melee defense good and high too. So, yeah, there. This is uh, th this thing is really really good. Um, you know, I think it's probably too early to say uh, it's overpowered or not, but uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to default to my uh, to my oh, oh good uh, piercing shot there going to default my uh, uh, old superstition, which is when uh, when I see a new mobile suit and go, I really like this, It's I, and I can I think I can do well with it, everybody else goes, this is overpowered. Like, that was mostly a GBO1 thing, but yeah, just I, I felt cursed, because like every time I, I got a, uh, uh, got a, a, a suit I liked, everybody agreed it was overpowered. It was, it was kind of frustrating, honestly, but, you know. Opinions are opinions, but so far, okay, yeah, and yeah, you're gonna. I think even after the, this week is up, you're gonna see a lot of these, though, because yeah, it's it's just that good, and it's it's definitely. Uh, I I think it's definitely gonna be the first choice, uh, uh, first uh, first choice support at six fifty for a while. Let's see, and now, good uh, resist move there did at least cut down on the damage from the. Uh, just a Shazar type A, because, yeah, that thing is, of course, a terror. And, yeah, uh, Shipper didn't really have time to react to that one, though, and was very low health, so... Still, sur to be honest, surviving one heavy attack from the Jesta uh, Shazar A is a, a, an accomplishment in and, in and of itself. So, right now, 2335, 2385 to 4415. The numbers always change when I talk about them, but... Uh, yeah, so they're about, okay, they're now almost exactly uh, uh, at half of the enemy team's score. A little bit more, like 200 points. But yeah, there's, uh, you know, enemy team's uh, going kind of hard at the beginning of this, but certainly uh, with five minutes to go at 650, that's only a couple kills, maybe three at most. Probably more like two with assists and what, uh, what all figured in. Um Let's see, not quite enough. Yeah, uh, again, it has enough slots you can build it for basically anything, and if anything uh, includes uh, beam defense, yeah, not not hard to do. Good shot there, got the, uh, I think it was another cannon gun he uh, he took out. There's a Psycho Bawu, that's one I see a lot. Good tackle on uh, the Shazar. Which, yeah, as you can see, that was a pretty good counter for a support against a raid at 650. That, uh, that it does have a pretty substantial amount of uh, melee mod. It its stats actually lean towards that, but again, you can you can build for more balanced stats or or even you know balance it uh, or you know set it up more towards the uh, towards uh, the uh, ranged side beam in particular. It does not. Pretty sure. If it has if it has Vulcans, which I do not remember, I think those are the only ballistic weapons it has. Uh, the, the big cannons are beams. The w smaller ones that look like the SML launchers on the original gun cannon are beams. The beam rifle obviously is beams. But yeah, so it's it's pretty it like a lot of you know latter day mobile suits. It is set up almost entirely for beam damage. So let's see. Good shot there on the other cannon gun. I believe the cannon gun does have a skill which which uh, reduces stagger and maybe even a little bit of damage when it is uh, 
Uh, no, that's right. This skill only works when you're firing a stopped fire weapon. It does not apply when you're charging. So, you know, I'm pretty sure that's what it said. So, yeah, that that was, you know, that, that cannon gun probably just uh, set up for strong beam defense. Because, yeah, I feel like 1500, uh, it should have been a little higher. But again, you know, if only one of the beams hit or it was set up with uh, defense in mind, maybe not as much of a thing. But type advantage good shot there and yeah that cannon does charge very quickly i think that was was that a dovin wolf or a silver bullet i think it was one of those and yeah uh they're they're quite good but they're not fast so if it, if you were in sights of something like this that would be a bad place to be in one about 270 per shot that's basically high-end machine gun damage see shipper is doing a pretty solid job of not overheating the main cannon i think it may have just gone but i it's yeah but it also seems to cool down very quickly which is again is a virtue this thing you know, like i said this thing has very few weaknesses except that its uh, evade move does in fact have no iframes which again you know iframes don't often don't actually always work the way you expect them to because of the latency so if the damage reduction is consistent throughout the entire dodge, you may actually end up ahead of me. Because if it has, if it protects you against stun and reduces the damage you take while rolling, yeah, that that could be pretty uh, significant. If you know, in a situation where you otherwise would have just gotten uh, uh, taken the damage during the roll, which happens to me at least once a match, I would say. But. Yeah, so far so good. They did manage to destroy the enemy base, which got them out ahead. Um, 13,665 to 8,095. So going by those scores, odds are good they would have been ahead even if they had, hadn't uh, uh, destroyed the enemy base. But it's not going to hurt anything, especially with a minute to go. I'm sure this te enemy team is going to be pushing pretty hard. So uh, let's see. Because, yeah, th at 650 in particular, this is a... Uh, this is a score disparity you, you can make up, but I have probably searched for the word disparity in like a half dozen uh, rounds and not actually found it, but uh, let's see, yeah, there's another cannon gun uh, hitting shipper. That is, I think it is a silver bullet, but I can't, again, can't guarantee without, yeah, it's a silver bullet. Now, I, without seeing its moves, I was going to say, but yeah, if it has the uh, sword launcher, yeah, it's, it's the silver bullet, which... I forget if that's a ranged melee attack or just one of the ones that feels like it should be, but isn't. But regardless, round's almost over. Shipper uh, managed to take out a couple of things that were focusing him, and they are absolutely going to win this. They are up almost, but not quite two to one. They they have killed everything that came their way. Shazar was trying to get the Shipper before the end of the match, but yeah, it doesn't have time, especially with Shipper uh, locking it down. So yeah, that is a really good round. The, this is the power of the cannon gun. And yeah, I, I have not gotten one of these for my personal account, but I would really like to. Okay, yeah, swept the board. 155,000 damage, 5290, almost a third of the team's score, 1365 uh, in assists, five kills, two deaths. Very nice all around for sure. That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later. Uh, Shipper and I were chatting a little bit when uh, the round got sent my way. And in case you didn't know, uh, it's been a while now, but uh, there is a, a separate set of weapons for the Juagu that shows up in the uh, cycle ticket store sometimes that gives it a more like wide spray mini missile instead of the concentrated missile fire it has by default. It's more... It's more similar, best as uh, I can tell, to how the uh, guns fired in Gundam Unicorn than what it does uh, uh, with its default weapons in GBO2. But unfortunately, they're just not particularly great. They had, don't have as much stopping power. They probably don't do as much damage. They're just not, uh, they're a lot harder to use at the very least.